Hello friends, today we are going to see a simple program to calculate a factorial of a number. So first of all, we shall see what is factorial of a number. So in mathematical terms, it is written as four exclamatory mark. So it is called as four factorial. So now we shall see how to calculate a factorial of a number. So if we are calculating factorial of 4, it is nothing but multiplication of all the integers till that number. Means in this case, factorial of a 4 is nothing but 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is nothing but 24. Now we shall see factorial of a 5. It is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 120. You can also say factorial of 6 is nothing but 6 into factorial of 5. So this is a very simple logic to calculate a factorial of a number. What we shall do? We shall multiply the integers till that number. So now let's start with the code. So here on the TurboSweep application we shall create a new file include standard libraries. So here hash include stdio.h and one more file hash include conium.h here a main function and now to read input from user we shall have a variable as number and to store a factorial of a number we shall have a variable fact and in this case we are using for loop so to iterate that for loop we shall need a counter variable and that we shall take i. Now here we shall write clear screen and here goes a message for user that enter a number ok and here scanf to read integer we shall write percentage format specifier here goes ampersand number so here we have our input and now to implement this logic we shall initialize i to 1 so here we shall write a for loop we shall initialize i with a value 1 and we shall iterate i till the number so here we shall write condition as i is less than equal to number and we shall increment i by 1 every time. So now here we shall have a number of iterations of i and for every iteration we shall multiply value of i and we shall store that multiplication in fact variable. So here we shall write fact is equal to fact into i but see friends at the first iteration i value would be 1 but we have not initialized fact variable and so in this case the initial value of fact would be garbage value and here the multiplication would be a garbage value again so we shall initialize fact to the 1 and the first iteration when i is 1 fact would be 1 and the multiplication would be 1 into 1 that is 1. So in this case we can skip the garbage output and here finally we shall print the output as factorial of a number and what is the number that is number uh, we shall write so here we shall print number and here we shall print fact value so here goes a fact value okay it's ch right 
save this program so we shall save this program by the name fab.c compile it and run so here i will give input 4 so factorial of 4 is 24 okay so here now we shall just iterate it for the 4 so see uh, when we are giving input as 4 the fact value is 1 right and i is initialized at value 1 and the number is 4 so in the first iteration i is 1 1 is less than equal to 4 yes it is that means this statement will be executed and in this case in the first iteration fact value is 1 and i value is 1 so the multiplication 1 into 1 will be 1 and it would be stored in a fact variable in the second iteration i would be incremented by 1 and now i would be 2 and 2 is less than equal to 4 yes it is and again a multiplication will be performed and the old value of fact is 1 and now latest value of i in this iteration is 2 so the multiplication would be 1 into 2 and the output 2 will be stored in this variable fact right so now in the next iteration i will be 3 and again we shall compare 3 is less than equal to 4 yes it is now what is the current value of fact it is 2 and i is 3 now so 2 into 3 and the output 6 will be stored here in fact variable so now current value of fact is 6 and now i will be incremented by 1 and and now i would be 4 now again we shall compare 4 is less than equal to number and number is 4 4 is less than equal to 4 yes condition is true so again once this multiplication will happen the current value of fact is 6 so 6 into 4 the output 24 will be stored in variable fact and and now again for the next iteration i plus plus this will be performed and i's value would be 5 5 is less than equal to 4 no condition is false so now this for loop will end here and this printf statement will be executed and the fact is now 24. Again we shall run it once for 5. So now in this case 5's factorial is 120. So friends this is all for this video. Hope you like this video. To see more videos like this, subscribe this channel, like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you friends.